And here I'm talking about putting in getting stock prices on the internet. Very easy to do. I have this little sheet here it's called stock sources with that the SEC codes. If I want to do this, I click on the data tab. I'm using version 2010. It also works with 2007. With 2013, I'm not sure. It should work very similar. I'm going to click on existing connections. And it shows different things here. You could get Money Central. Uh, I want to do the stocks here. You can get currency rates there. I'll show that at the end here. I just double click on this. And I want to put this in a new worksheet. I could have it in another cell down there, which was blinking. I go and say OK. I could type in separate with commas. I go back into the stock sources tab. And then I highlight with my mouse these. I click on this. You can't say refresh automatically when cell value changes unless you're only dealing with one. I have four stocks. I say OK. <clears throat> Takes a moment. And we've got all the prices here, last closing for the day here. And if you scroll to the right, it gives market cap, price to earnings ratio, a lot of details. Wherever you see the bright blue underline, of course, you know that means there's a link there. And if you're doing this during the day, you would click on refresh all to get the current price. Or if you're opening up yesterday's spreadsheet, you could update the information then. Got to do that. If you want to do other things here, um, existing connections. I'm going to click right now on currency things. I'm going to say open. I went to a blank sheet. Where do you want to put the data? I'm going to just say the existing worksheet. I could have said a new one. I say OK and it's loading it and it's just showing the conversion rates for this date. You could print this out if you want to. It doesn't have today's date in here. However, if you want the date that it was published um, in there, you can just go into a cell here. And I would just type in literally equal today, left, right parenthesis. And it's going to display today's date of May 23rd. Again, you would have to click on refresh all. If I open this a week later, it's going to read May 30th. 